electric motor, synthetic rigging, classic sailboat, no electronics, crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. Good morning, everyone. Today is October 29th, and we are still in the middle of the ocean. Now, one thing that I did this morning was I moved our old electronic autopilot display to the electronic autopilot that we have long since removed, but the display is still there because I just never took it off. And the reason I'm keeping that bracket arm is because in the future when we have parrots back on board, I'm kind of thinking about using that bracket arm as like a bird holder, sort of, like a little perch thing. So I don't want to get rid of it because I have plans for it. But I can see from the companionway what our course is. So that's a plus. How you doing, babe? I have woken but not risen. <laughs> uh, it's very rough in here and it was a rough night, but I was so tired that I got, I think, plenty of sleep. Uh, we're just kind of surrounded by big winds right now. It's not storms, it's just big seas and big winds. Enough so that the boat is uh, very shaky. And so, uh, I'm alright. I just... It's not optimal conditions, but at least we're going really fast, which is always a plus in my book. Alright, pressure's dropping a little, but it's up from yesterday. So yesterday it was 1010. Now it's 1012, 10, 11 and a half, somewhere in that range. And let's see what the sky looks like. Completely overcast. Everywhere. It's not really a picturesque sailing day, but uh, there's wind, it's consistent, and we're going. And it's following seas, so super important there. Today's not so lovely weather is no surprise. Yesterday we saw the clouds starting to roll in and when they start coming in like they were, that tells you that in one to two days, storm's coming. Or, well, just this kind of crap. So, this is the one day mark. So it's not, it's not a surprise. It's just not pleasant. The good part is this will continue to just blow over us and then after this would then be the opposite, which will be nice, beautiful weather. So, I'm looking forward to those days. So these overcast days don't really give us any power through the solar panels, and it is hot. So the fridge is just chugging the amps. Before, when we did our previous crossing, we just ran the motor on regen, and that actually gives all the power that we needed to cross the Atlantic, or the North Atlantic. The problem is, I don't know why, but the regen's not working and I don't know how to fix it. We are just trucking along, making just more miles west. Trucking at a snail's pace. Yeah. Maybe we need to put up more sail. Uh, I don't want to with the sails, with the clouds around us. Okay. They look pretty ominous. Well. Yeah. That's that. We don't have much in the way of wind here, but these seas are pretty insane. So I'm actually going to check and see on the pilot charts what's going on here. Yeah, it's Maddie's least favorite where it's big seas, no wind. Uh, I'm going to check the pilot chart, see if there's currents here or something because what the heck is causing this? It's a current issue. So south of 10 degrees north. Our current issue yes, is current current issue. Yes. Currents are a current issue. So we are currently at 8 degrees north. Now south of 10 degrees, the currents start to hook like from going with the trades to going backwards against the equator. So 
we are currently in an area where the currents are like swirling and just being naughty. So you have winds this way and then currents that way and it's just slow and uncomfortable. So we're gonna turn and head north and get up north of 10 degrees north because it's just, we're too far south. Let's take a look at November. Yeah, so we'll be at 10 north and then when we hit 40 degrees, uh, 50 degrees, we'll drop down ideally 50, 55-ish, around that area. We'll come down and then we're gonna ride the Guinea Current to our, uh, our destination. Good news, everyone! I killed the cricket! Woohoo! So we will finally, finally have peace and quiet. Finally. Oh, he was chirping with no legs. So much chirp. But now he's quiet. Because he's dead. Yeah. Okay, we are beam reaching to our new waypoint. Yeah, so Maddie made this delicious dinner and we're going to watch our last Netflix movie that we have. Yup. Scent of a woman. Well, we figured out that we were in a current or in a counter current. So we changed course. We went just a little bit north, only about seven miles and what a difference. It is just so much calmer up here. So we're just gonna keep running this course overnight and then tomorrow morning with daylight, we'll adjust course and keep heading west. Uh, so now we're just gonna start night watch and that's it. It's just a good, easy ending to the day, which is always a welcome thing. We have reached the 1,000 mile mark in our passing canned food that we got for our first passage back in the U.S. With that exact moment in time, with time and the sextant, you can figure out your exact latitude and longitude. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. Can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas.